Hello everybody. I've just got the television on, as you can see. What's on here? The weather forecast. Probably a bright enough start for the uh, eastern side of the UK on Wednesday. It'll cloud over. We don't do anything modern here. It's all old-fashioned. And a nice CRT black and white television in my kitchen. Anyway, ignore that rubbish. Um, what I'm doing here is this is a, just a standard cheap meter. You get on eBay. There's another one there. They're very cheap, but they're pretty reliable and they're good for just basic tests, which is what I do with it. And um, today I was um, stripping down some aluminium in my um, garage and I was stripping it down to basically because I wanted to find out um, if I could sell the aluminium for a bit of money um, to bump up the old coffers. So, but we are stripping down an aerial. Um, I've been chucked out by the bins, uh, an aerial, it had a small masthead amplifier on it. And if you don't know what a masthead amplifier is, this is it. It's a little bit corroded, I gave it a quick clean. They're normally bolted to the um, antenna themselves up on the roof. And um, you've got an in and an out. Um, Put a bit of wire in there. You'll, I'll explain why that's there in a minute. But uh, as you can see, the labels all come off with corrosion. But they're completely sealed units, so um, you can't get into it. Um, so there's not much you can do with it if it doesn't work. And what normally takes these out is lightning. Um, the antenna picks up lightning or gets hit by lightning, and it's that's the end of it. Game over. So that's the end of that. So if I just put up there for a minute. So what we've got here is a quick drawing um, so the bandwidth of this area will cover 70 to 882 megahertz it might be 862 megahertz but I can't quite make out the writing on there I've used a magnifying glass but it's all faded and I can barely see it UHF um, amplifier so it sits on the aerial pole itself so it'll be bolted to the back of the aerial there and um, the wire comes into the unit and then back down to the TV in the house or distri distribution board if you've got distribution board. Um, so it sits on there on the aerial and um, just sits there, doesn't do much at all. And that's all it is. It's a completely sealed aluminium box. Um, I'll probably give it a clean up and paint this one. Excuse my focus. Uh, so down to the TV here, the uh, unit works by supplying power up the TV lead into the unit. Um, obviously the case is the ground and then the live or the plus goes into the input there on the same wire there. So on this one anyway, but you need to check because yours might be different if you've got one. So I've rescued this, it was going to go in the scrap bin, it's not worth anything to anyone. Um, I thought it might be useful for something later on. Excuse my focus. I don't know what's wrong with this camera tonight. It seems to be having a mind of its own. Uh, what if I turn the torch on? Does that help? Does that help us at all? A little bit, maybe. So, um, I've rescued this because basically um, I thought I might use it for a project. I might just hook it up to my own TV area at some point. Um, it's quite a wide range. Uh, as you can see, between 70 and 882, so it could be used on a scanner as well. So it would actually work as a scanner um, booster, which is what I'm thinking, actually. Um, I've got radio scanners, which um, you pay quite a lot of money for these little boosters if you buy a professional scanner one, but this one here is free. So uh, I've grabbed it off the top of the um, antenna that was being broken up anyway. So I don't know if it even works, and... Um, I wasn't too sure how to test it, so I discovered the best way of testing it was with a 9 volt battery because, it, as I say, it does run between 5 and 12 volts. And I could just about make out the writing on there. And the writing, you can't really see it, but I just about managed to get it in a position where I could see the text just about. You probably can't see it. No, I could just about make it out, um, but that's all I could do. So, what I do is go. Just grab a crocodile clip like that, it's quite a big one. And uh, we'll just put that on there. So that gives us a ground. Um, and then I've got a 
just a nine volt battery. Well, we know the case is negative, so we can we can just hook that straight onto that. Um, if I just twist this around a minute, excuse me. Um, and what I'll do is I'll actually just take that off there for a minute, and I'll put that there. Some electrical tape, and I'll put that there, and I'll just get this battery. This is a real throw it together sort of situation just to check this works because there's no point in keeping it if it doesn't work um, that's a negative side so what we'll do is we'll just lift this up here and uh, I think we might need it a little bit higher actually put something else underneath here what can I put underneath that to bring it up a little bit uh, blah 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 is that going to be too high? I that's going to be too high maybe if I take that one away put that there there you go that's a little bit better so if I just hook that under there and just rest that on there, that'll give us a neutral, sorry, focus again, that gives a neutral to the case of the unit. Obviously this side here goes up to the antenna itself and this side goes down to your TV in the house. Um, so rather than hooking it all the way up to an antenna and mucking about, I'm just going to grab this meter here and uh, if I put that there, it's all a bit balanced, I'm afraid. But I'm sure you can see that. And um, all I've got to do then is I know it's drawing 25 milliamps when it's running um, at probably at 12 volts. So I've got 9 volts here, so I'm guessing it'll be a little bit less. So if I just, I'm trying to do this with three hands here, and I've only got two. So if I just uh, put that on the battery, so I've got one wire straight onto the battery like that. The meter set onto milliamps, and then I'll just touch the other wire onto the piece of wire that's sticking out there, and we'll just see what it's drawing. If it's drawing about 20 milliamps, we know it's working. So here we go. I oh, got 18. Oh, yeah, it's not like a connection there, is it? Not a great connection. I don't know how good this battery is either. So the batteries are. Probably on its last legs as well. I, don't, I haven't even checked the voltage on that. Which I should have done really. So if we just put it on there. There you go. About 18 and a half milliamps. It's fluctuating because it's not a particularly good connection because I'm wiggling it with my finger. So there you go. We know that is now working. There you go. I take the wire off, you can see I've got the wire on there, if I take that off, down to zero. So, there you go, that's um, just really a quick and dirty way to test a masthead amplifier, because it's, um, well, I'll say, it cost me nothing, and it was being thrown out with a load of scrap metal, so I just saved it, because I thought maybe I could use it for, um, well, I was thinking about using it on a TV at some point, but I might actually use it for my scanner because it worked pretty well for a scanner. Um, I'll have to isolate the um, power supply on the line so it doesn't damage the scanner with a diode or something, but uh, apart from that, it'll be okay. So that's what we got, so that's it. So between five and 12 volts, um, the center pins are always positive on these, so you've got no worries there. Um, always down the center pin, that's positive, so that's that one there, and the rest of it's self-explanatory, really. But you get between 70 and say 860, maybe 880 megahertz receiving on that. So a free amplifier costs nothing and it can be used on your radio scanner uh, for picking up marine bands or aircraft, something like that maybe. Um, and it costs nothing, so why not? So there you go guys. If you find one and you've got an old aerial, test it works. If it works, chuck it in your junk box and you'll find a use for it at some point. Thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll catch you another time. Bye bye.